Good day. This is uh, PMJF Lion Dr. K. Girish, physician, neurophysician, and neurosurgeon, past district governor of 324K, and past multiple council chairperson of multiple 324 Lions Clubs International. This is GTT series. Now, GTT is Girish's Train the Trainers series wherein I will be answering questions on various or subjects on various facets of leadership to mold the young leaders of tomorrow. This is, this is on behalf, this GTT series is on behalf of the Lions Club of Madras Excellence District 324K Lions Clubs International. In the GTT series 5, we are dealing with the question that I am addressing today is on what is self-management? Our emotions drive our behaviors. When we feel happy, we get excited, we smile. And when we feel sad, we fear or we cry. When we feel angry, we may shout and so on. Emotions must be regulated and controlled in order to assure the right behavior in different situations. In short, we need to control ourselves, manage ourselves in such situations. That is, exercising self-management. In this session, we'll be talking about this that how we can manage ourselves in an accomplished way. The definition of self-management is the ability to regulate one's emotions, thoughts, behaviors, and taking charge of all aspects of life at physical, mental, emotional, social, spiritual, and the professional levels. Our emotions and behaviors lead to better life if expressed in moderation. Negative emotions and the behaviors can throw us out of control and lead to a negative long-term impact on our well-being and our relationships with others in the personal and professional setups. Self-management means meaning managing ourselves and taking charge of all aspects of our life, physical, mental, emotional, social, spiritual, and professional, having an optimal balance leading to increased productivity and increased satisfaction. That is the meaning of self-management. It helps us to act intentionally, that is, with control over emotions, rather than reactively, that is, reacting impulsively to a situation. It enables us to become aware of what makes us tick, and thereby helping us to take advantage of our emotions and becoming more productive. In short, self-management impacts us in very many forms, and the advantages of doing a self-management are as follows. It helps us have control over the negative emotions and behaviors and habits. It helps us to control our actions so that we do not act in an impulsive fashion and we develop good habits. It helps us to be more organized. It helps us to take ownership of our efforts, actions and the work. It helps us to take up challenges and achieve our goals. Self-management is not a talent that a person is born with. It is a set of skills that can be acquired by anybody by putting time and efforts to learn. Very important. It is not a talent that a person is born with. It is a set of skills that can be acquired by anybody by putting a little of time and effort to learn. It's all about our ability to control our feelings, emotions and actions. The set of self-management skills, I'll just put an outline. What are they? One is self-awareness, knowing and understanding oneself, one's emotions, 
feelings. So knowing our own feelings is self-awareness. Self-confidence and self-belief. Trusting one's abilities. First believe in yourself. Believe in your strengths. Believe in your weakness. Believe how you can overcome those weaknesses. Trusting your abilities, qualities, judgment and intuition. And get rid of the negative thoughts from your head. Think positively and be happy with small things. Do not forget to tell yourself that you are smart and intelligent and chat with positive people. The third one is self-motivation, to dream big, to achieve them, etc. Self-motivation is to find out, you know, different sources of motivation you can do and inspiration, like from music, books, activities, thinking expansive thoughts, Live fully in the present moment. Dare to have big dreams. Dream often every day. Remember that nothing is impossible. Self-regulation. Setting standards such as being a team player. A part of a teamwork. Trustworthiness. Self-regulation. Setting standards or rules on yourself which you stick to. Self-control. Restraining self in provoking situations. Controlling your emotions. The ability to retrain, retrain yourself. In very difficult situations. Restrain yourself. Personal hygiene and grooming. Taking care of oneself. Eating right. Working physical. Mental fitness. Healthy eating. Physical activities are extremely important. When it comes to increasing your mind. And the body power. Time management. Organizing self. Prioritizing the task. And managing time is also one of the most important components of a self-management skill. So, in a nutshell, the various skills to be developed for self-management is self-awareness, self-confidence, self-motivation, self-regulation, self-control, personal hygiene and grooming, time management, stress management, problem solving, positive thinking and teamwork. So these are the 11 points of skills that are required for doing a self-management. Thank you. Thank you very much.